What's up gamers? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another Pro Guides video. All right, so listen, at this point, we all know Fortnite has been pretty bland these past few months. That's the nice way of putting it. With hardly any communication, a giant lack of any updates, no LTMs or anything else. The past few months, oh my goodness, of Fortnite have been arguably the most boring part of the game's history. Who agrees with that? It's just been boring. It really has. I'm so sorry. Honestly, you know, I'd even choose Season X with the mechs over this one because at least there was something interesting going on. So that's why in today's video, we're going to be discussing 10 things we really want to see in this upcoming season. Okay, so we've looked all over, man. Like we've searched for everything that players want to see in this game, and we've got it narrowed down to seven general things that we think would really revive this game and bring Fortnite back to life. But real quick, all right, let's do today's question of the day. You guys ready? Today's question of the day is, I need a drum roll. Yeah. All right, so what do you want to see in the next season of Fortnite? Personally, okay, I like to see some map changes, maybe even the return of like some old locations. I honestly wish Tilted Towers would even come back. You know, that place was my baby. All right, so let us know in the comments what you like to see next season, all right? I'm really curious to hear what you guys got to say about this one. All right, so last thing before we get into this amazing video, may I add? If you want to improve and maybe even reach a pro level, you got to check out ProGuys.com, all right? You need our help, trust me. On our website, we offer courses from some of the best pros in the world like Mongro and even Benji. And on top of that, we're creating new ones weekly from advanced building and editing guides to scrim courses to controller courses and so much more. We've also got a ton of articles and guides to help you guys stay on top of the meta. And finally, even on top of all of this, we offer 24-7, not 22-7, not 23-7. I said 24-7 on-demand coaching to help you guys improve. How about that? And if you want to be the best of the best, you got to check out ProGuides.com. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back. Hope you guys are taking over the world, man. I want you guys to succeed, not only in this game, but also in life. Whether you're in school, I want you to succeed, all right? If you're playing sports, I want you to succeed. If you're working, whatever is going on in your life, I want you to be the best person that you can be to your family and to people that come your way. Instead of us looking, we're always looking to see who can be a blessing to us, who can inspire us. Let's be the ones to inspire other people, all right? Let's do that. Can we do that, please? Please, can you do it for me? Thank you. Connect with me on my new Insta at your motivation guy that's right your motivation guy all right ladies and gentlemen it's about that time i need everybody around the whole world come on you got to say it with me it's time to sit back come on say it relax and get some of my favorite candy come on screaming out it's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going all right guys so we're gonna get started with the number one thing we see people asking for which is an fov slider or the return of stretch resolution all right, so the number one thing, guys, we see people asking for in Fortnite community is a way to increase your field of view, or FOV. This basically makes it so, you know, you can see more around you, and generally, you know, you'll have more awareness, right? All right, so you got to take a look at this chart, which might help your understanding. So overall, higher FOV allows you to see more around yourself and, you know, just have more awareness of what's happening as a result, right? So bringing back stretch resolution or, you know, even adding a simple slider for your FOV would fix the issue. Almost every major FPS game has an FOV slider and like implementing this one into Fortnite would definitely make competitive play a lot more enjoyable and still allow the option to adjust and change it, you know, if you don't like playing on a high FOV. Overall, my friends, I'm saying like this would be a great change and really make competitive so much more fun and enjoyable while still allowing the option to change your FOV if you don't like it. All right, so next up, we've got Siphon in pubs. Siphon refers to the rule where you receive 50 wood, brick, and metal upon an elimination, along with 50 that applies to health or shield. This rule stands in arena and tournaments playlists, all right, but it would really be nice to have it in pubs as well, man. So there's just really simply zero incentive to play pubs unless you're just going to camp all around the game and just get one or two kills for the win. So adding Siphon to public matches would add some incentive, man, for aggressive play and really make both play styles equal. If you want to camp and just play for the win, you could do that, but, you know, with the same benefits, but you also won't be punished for playing for kills and having some fun. Overall, Siphon in public matches would make them much more playable and really make it so everybody can practice and improve in the fun, casual environment of a public match. 
which is something we really haven't had in a really long time. I miss playing pubs and having fun. I don't know about you, but I miss it. But I can't play when I get third partied and die every single time I fight. So this change would not only help get rid of that issue, but it would also influence players to try and get some kills, making the pub experience, guys, just a lot more fun and really action-packed as a result. Speaking of public matches, all right, another form of pubs that I gotta say right now are LTM game modes. All right, so LTMs, also known as limited time modes, are some of the most fun I've ever had playing in Fortnite, man. A few examples of great LTMs are 50 versus 50, Team Rumble, you know, high explosives, sneaky silencers, solid gold, and you know, there's many more. LTMs aren't supposed to be competitive, all right? Or something that you just grind all day for wins and kills, but they're honestly for fun, all right? And they're super enjoyable for most of the casual player base. These LTMs, man, are like the core of Fortnite and are really some of the most fun modes in the entire game. To get a break from like the normal experience and public matches and competitive playlists, you know, like the only main LTMs we've seen a lot of this season is Siphon, which is usually squads, right? And while it's a pretty cool game mode, I get it, it would be like really, really nice to see a bit more of variety in the LTMs that we can play, right? Because they've always been one of the most enjoyable parts of playing Fortnite. You know, so leaning a bit more toward the competitive side of things, we've got the issue of mobility. Oof. All right, so throughout the history of Fortnite, we've had some amazing forms of mobility, right? A few examples have been bouncers, you know, launch pads, shockwave, and impulse grenades, shadow bombs, even rifts, rift to goes, and that's just to name a couple. But with the release of Chapter 2, almost all of these have been completely snapped out of existence, and rotations literally have become so much more risky as a result. Adding back even just two, or like even three of these items would really put Fortnite in a better state, both for, you know, competitive and casual games, and really make the game a lot more enjoyable. Speaking of competitive, all right, we also love to see more competitive events. Ever since FNCS squads and Runner Royale, competitive events have pretty much, they've gone away, all right? With nothing but like cash cups, keeping a competitive something alive. We really have no idea like what the next major event's gonna be. And also we don't have any proper practice. Even another gauntlet or like share the love style event would be amazing where we have ton of games to play out and even get some good practice and just grind the leaderboards. Hopefully some major events are announced really soon <laughs> so we can just start practicing for them, right? It'd be great to see like another major LAN event like the World Cup, the skirmish events, or anything like that, just to keep the hype around competitive at a high. Because these online finals are like, they're not really my favorite to watch. It's super fun and exciting to watch all the players, you know, on the big stage, fighting it out to win the tournament, instead of being hundreds of miles away from one another. It seems like Epic has been really, really lacking in LAN events lately, and we really hope to see another one really soon. How about you? How do you feel about that? Moving on to our last competitive change. All right, here we go. We love to see something done about Arena. Who agrees with that? This season, man, if you've reached Champions Division, there's honestly zero reason to continue grinding in Arena. We love to see some form of incentive, whether it's money, come on now, we can all use a little bit more of that, a leaderboard or even some other form of recognition, like based on your Arena performance, because at the moment, man, if you're in champs, then you have no reason at all to continue grinding Arena. <laughs> Unless you wanna wait 15 minutes just to get into a game and really get nothing out of it, even if you win. So seeing an arena overhaul with some incentives to play would really bring arena back to life, man, and give all of us some reason to play it. So we all know by this point that lower end platforms like console, switch and mobile are a giant disadvantage, right? Fortnite is poorly optimized for them, and we really don't see many changes or adjustments really being made to these platforms to make it any better. Epic really seems to just throw them off for some reason, I don't know why, whether it's from a lack of players on these platforms or financial issues or just pure laziness at this point. <laughs> Regardless of like why they're throwing it off, we really need to see some more adjustments soon for these platforms because, you know, they're really missing out on good performance and probably not really enjoying the game as much because of it. All right, let me ask you this question. Do you guys remember back in the day when the game was updated every single week? Those are the good old days, right? With new changes and updates to keep it fresh and exciting. Huh. Well, it seems like we've lost that in chapter two, all right? With the huge lack of any changes or updates really just making the game super boring. Weekly updates kept us on edge and really super excited about like what's coming next and what's changing the game and, you know, really gave Fortnite that spark that really no other game had. Remember those days? But in this season, oh, 
it really feels like it's just the same boring thing over and over again, like with no changes to keep the game fresh and exciting. Bringing back weekly updates would make the game so much more fun and keep us so much more excited, right? Waiting to see what's changing in the upcoming weeks. Bringing this back would really give Fortnite that spark it used to have. Speaking of changes, our next change is more content, yes. This one is pretty like self-explanatory and really goes hand in hand with weekly updates. We are so tired of seeing all the same locations. We are so tired of seeing all the same weapons, the same, really everything, every single time we play. I mean, it gets really, really bland after a while, right? Like, while they shouldn't overload the game with a bunch of boring, overpowered stuff that nobody wants, you know, there should be at least like some new things being added to spice it up, you know, spice up the gameplay and really keep us all engaged, right? Seeing a few cool new weapons in the next season would really be nice, man. And a few map changes or additions, maybe even the return of some old locations, that would even be super fun. Overall, man, you know, seeing more content and changes would make the game much more exciting and bring back that spark we haven't had in a while. You know, missing that love again. We miss having updates to look forward to. And at this point, we're just all waiting for something to happen. So the last thing that we want in the next season, all right, this is the last, all right, we got to get this, all right, is none other than some actual communication from Epic. Talk to me, Epic, please. This season, like, we've hardly heard anything about the game, right? Like, what's going on? Like, why aren't there any changes or anything like that? I feel like I'm left in the dark. What's going on? This is especially true for Patch Notes. We've been clueless this entire season with no idea what's changing or even happening around us. And Epic doesn't seem to care about any of our feedback. So here's the idea. To improve communication, it would start with the return of Patch Notes. Simple as that. Let us know everything that has changed and why. Second, all right, would be some clear communication about like what they're thinking and the philosophy, you know, they have about the game. So we're not totally clueless to trying to like to figure it out on our own. Finally, guys, some way to give feedback would be so amazing. They hardly listen to anything we say and their feedback system in game really doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> I wouldn't even be surprised if nobody was really, really there and they just have it there for people to just really think they're giving feedback <laughs> without it, anything happening. Overall, guys, Fortnite, it's a great game, all right? I love it. I still got my passion for Fortnite. I hope you do too. And despite how much trash we can talk about it, you know, and how much we can say is wrong with it and what needs to improve and yada, 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 it's still the game we all know and love, all right? At the end of the day, we wouldn't be playing it if we didn't enjoy it. If these changes could be implemented in the future, we'd see Fortnite, you know, in the greatest state it's been in a really long time. And, you know, we think the game could really thrive again. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my new Insta at your motivation guy. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it and agree with you know what we said. Don't forget to use code PROGUIDES to support all of our work and thanks a bunch, like a bunch of crunch. If you really enjoyed this video and you wanna see some of the changes implemented in the next season, we appreciate it a bunch, a bunch of crunch again. If you could drop a like, subscribe, and maybe share the video with a few friends if you think they might like it. Remember to tell us in the comments below like what you wanna see next on the channel because like I keep saying, we really, really read your comments. I do, I do, I do. And and, you know, we'll consider every idea. So be sure to check out ProGuys.com. And, you know, for more amazing, exclusive content, you're not going to find anywhere else but here. Once again, we'll see you soon. Peace.